Hello and welcome to Humanities 3, People in Contemporary Society. My name is Edward Geica and I'll be your online and live Zoom instructor. There may be many reasons why you're taking the humanities, uh, anything from it fits my schedule or it fulfills my requirements to I simply can't live without the study of the humanities. There may be some of you who don't really know what the study of the humanities is or entails, but decided to take the course anyway and thought, well, at least it's not deferential calculus. So what are the humanities? The study of the humanities, as the title implies, involves an exploration of what makes us uniquely human, what it is that distinguishes us from all other creatures and allows for our ability to think reflexively, to create the concept of a common humanity, or to understand what it means to be humane, humane in our treatment of others, or to fight for human rights in our social and political spheres. In considering these questions, we must go back to recognize the seeds of our contemporary culture. And through a study of the arts as both a mirror and a headlight in the discovery of what it really means to be human in the 21st century. Due to the cognitive revolution and as of yet unexplained mutation of our species, it's only the human animal that creates art, that can imagine a fiction, that can create a fantasy or consider and think about concepts of things that do not exist. It is only the human animal that can move beyond the physical vision and end vision. And it is only the human animal that shares this vision, this fantasy, this imagined fiction, or experienced moment through what we term art. Consider the word art itself and how it forms other words such as artifice, artifact, artificial. And in this regard, in any art, in whatever form or medium, it is an artificiality, thus the opposite of the natural. Art is the opposite of nature, and perhaps this suggests the impetus to create art and may imply a number of purposes. As an impetus, it may be an attempt to come to terms with nature, ours along with the natural, social, cosmic, etc. environment. It may be an attempt to share, communicate, express, or capture our artistic vision in various mediums and for diverse purposes, to imitate nature, human or otherwise, what we call mimetic theory to instruct for moral, ethical, religious, social, or political purposes, what's termed pragmatic theory of art, or to express the personal vision of the artist himself or herself, the expressive theory. And sometimes it's a combination of these purposes. So we will explore this uniquely self-conscious act of creation, of expression, of communication, so as to better understand who we are as human beings and how we have arrived at our contemporary values and constructs. The course begins in the late 17th century and incorporates an interdisciplinary approach in a cultural survey of the literature, philosophy, music, painting, film, architecture, and sculpture, in brief, the arts of the 18th, 19th, and 20th centuries in Western Europe and North America. We'll explore these arts in terms of the ideas and conditions that stimulated the artists and thinkers and the contributions of their work toward the development of our own contemporary culture. The course will cover cultural trends and art movements from the Rococo, Enlightenment, Romantic, Realist, Modern periods through the postmodern movements in the arts. Various assignments throughout the course ask you to make insightful connections between the particular characteristics of the art and philosophy from these movements, cultural currents and shifts with our own contemporary culture. The readings and source resource materials from Culture and Values textbook and the overview sections in the Canvas modules are meant for study and to inform your views and are not meant to be a substitute for them, so there's never an assignment prompt that asks you to simply summarize, paraphrase, or compile information derived from the readings or other web sources as a submission. I'm most interested in what you think, and I'm looking forward to reading your informed views and opinions rather than what the text or the video state. I think we'll be covering some very exciting concepts and hopefully discovering our sense of who we are, where we have been, and where we may be heading. Please email me with any questions, issues, or concerns in regard to this course. I'm here to help you succeed, and I'm really rooting for you. So I'm looking forward to seeing you um, online at our Zoom meetings, which are on Tuesdays and Thursdays um, from 9.40 to 11.05, I believe. You'll be receiving emails from me asking you to join. And as I said, I'm very much looking forward to it. So good luck and we'll see you soon.